Hey guys, salam alaikum. Welcome back to my client spotlight series. And today I'm joined by the lovely Anika. Um, Anika was in my last round, um, the round that I just finished, Sacred Prime and Pleasure of yeah, round three. And today I wanted to just interview her and ask her questions about what her experience was like in the container. Okay, so Anika, I'm gonna get straight into it. So what made you what made you sign up? For sacred feminine pleasure like how what made you go from reading my content maybe watching my videos to um clicking um my page and choosing to buy or enroll into sacred feminine pleasure okay so i have actually been following you for a while i think two three years and coincidentally i actually found your page when i was going through traumatic events in my life right and the thing is, I've, I'm also following other psychologists, healers, therapists, whatever you call, but they're all like non-Muslims. And so they bring like the Western point of view. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they all like, I'm not saying they're bad. They all talk about, oh, you need to heal. You need to face your inner child. But I'm like, yeah, but how, what is the process? Like, how do you do it? Right. Like you say, it's all that, but you never tell me the process. And so I just felt stuck. Like, I know this is it, but I don't know how to do it. And then also because like when I go through a post, you bring the concept of Allah. And because I'm so, I'm a Muslim, I practice. I feel like if Allah is not in the equation, I'm not doing the proper healing because mm -hmm. he is in charge of it, right? Like if I don't bring him into the equation, there's it's zero at the end of the day. So, yeah. And yeah. And so I actually signed up when... I felt like I needed it the most and I messaged you and you were the one who were like yeah you need to do this program and I just knew I felt like if I do this I'm gonna I'm like this is it this is the answer for me and look at me now <laughs> I do not regret it oh, and I you've shown that. me exactly step by step how it's done why you do it there's no gaps there's no loopholes it's so straightforward it's just easy to understand Allah's in the equation you don't make me you, you understand me, you don't make me feel stupid, or you don't judge me, you know, like everything all together is just 10, like 100 on 10, like, you know, like. <laughs> I, I want to pick up something that you mentioned, that I just know, do you see how powerful yeah. it is when you're making a decision and you feel it in your gut and you're like, I know this makes sense. Yes. And just, that, like, that came from, like, Alhamdulillah came from Allah, but you had that, you had that knowing deep in your soul that this makes so much sense, like, let me just yes. go, for it, right? Oh, yes. That's so powerful, that's so powerful. And I, I know, is. like, right now, there's so many women, like, maybe women are reading my posts, and, like, they're like, I know this works, but then it's just, like, mm. I, don't, I don't know how to move through that knowing. What made you move through the knowing that this is the right thing? Uh, of course, like, knowing that it's from, um, that I mentioned Allah, and knowing mm. the step by step process, what was the feeling that was coming up for you as you were investing? I think because, like, no matter what, I've always kind of listened to my like gut feeling, if that makes sense. Yeah. And one of the things that I don't know how to explain this, but I feel like when Allah really loves you, He makes you love yourself. Okay. Wow that that's how like that's how it works so the fact that Allah guided me to this because I've all I'm always trying to grow I'm always trying to make myself better the only way to do it is to face my demons or my flaws and accept it right like for mm -hmm. example you love your parents you love your kids but they're not always the best but you still love them. You know their flaws. You know how they work. You still love them. And that's exactly the same with yourself. And the more you love yourself, the more you cultivate a be better relationship with Allah. And you ask him for guidance. So I don't know how to explain this, but that was the whole feeling or thought process going through me. Oh, I love that. Oh, making it just like, this is why it's so important. Like making a decision with Allah involved. Like you just mm. ask Allah. And then like, just, I've, ha I've had so many like, uh, calls like I'm doing the testimonials of women saying that yeah like I just knew like I was asking a lot for a miracle then I realized that the miracle was in it was like stumbling across your page or reading your post like realizing mm. I can heal from it oh that's so powerful okay so my next question is um 
Okay, so how much of a hot mess were you? You feel free to share as much as you want, but how much of a hot mess were you before, like, before you signed up? Like, what was what challenges were you going through in your life? The main challenge. So my life's been pretty boring. Like, like I'm not kidding, but I've always been the obedient child. I do what I've been told. Right? I'm like the oldest in both my mom's and dad's side. So I've mm. always been like an example, and I've carried that well. But I've reached a point in life where I'm going through an arranged marriage process now, and it's been going for the last three years. And the thing is, my parents, because they're so used to the obedient me, they thought that whatever guy they bring, I'm just going to say yes, because this girl says yes, no matter what. <laughs> but that's not how it worked, right? Um, and then once I started making decisions for myself, things started going really toxic at home toxic in the sense that there was just a lot of misunderstanding constant arguments not even arguments more like quarrels and so it came to a point where I didn't feel safe coming home nothing wrong was going but just this constant like verbal abuse it was just getting to me and it Mm -hmm. got to a point where um, I was feeling very suicidal and my suicidal was like it was like passive like oh I wish a truck just hit me because I'm Muslim, I'm never going to do anything to myself. So I wish something like X, like something like would hit me and I would die. Like mm-hmm. thoughts like that, right? Um, and that wasn't healthy. I was really feeling lowest of the law. Um, and then Ramadan came, that helped. But then after Ramadan was gone, things were just back to normal again. And then during this time, I've also met someone and well, actually I met someone and then that didn't work out because he was from a different culture. My parents didn't take it well. And because I was fighting for him, but this someone didn't actually want a future with me. So I was actually mm-hmm. fighting for someone whose um, support I didn't have, right? So I was doing it all alone. And then that didn't go well. And then the second time I met someone, this time everything was fine. He was from the same culture, everything's fine, but he wasn't committed. So on top of this, like, arrange marriage issues with my parents I was also feeling like why am I attracting guys who do not want a future with me what is wrong with me you know so everything all together I was just a hot mess like I felt like something was wrong with me like everything just is not working out it was just very very not right (laughs) and thank you for sharing that Anika because I know like when you when you're single and you're trying to get married trying to find a suitable partner a good partner like, I know for us women, like, sometimes we feel to share that. So thank you so much for sharing that, because like, that's going to help so many women. Like, when they watch this yeah. testimony, it's going to help them understand that it's not, it's not necessarily them or, like, something going mm. on with, with, with uh, it's not, there's nothing wrong with you. you you're not at yep. fault. There's something going on in your program. Yep. Um, and that's making you feel that way. So thank you so much for sharing that. Um, that's totally Okay. Okay, how was abundance rewiring? So now that you're a hot mess, coming to sacred mm-hmm. sanctification, what was abundance rewiring like? Because we had eight sessions, we had one every week. Yeah. Well, to me, it was just discovering a whole new world inside of me. All this time, it was inside me, but suddenly coming across it, and it was just like an out of world experience. And not wow. just discovering it, but going deep into it. And then accepting it and making it a part of your life and be making it as normal as breathing, it just changes your whole inner inner life. Because, you know, there's your outer life and there's your inner life. No one knows what's going on inside of you. But the, the whole point of life is to make it as peaceful as you can. Because if your inner life is peaceful, everything outside will align and become peaceful. And that was abund- And that's what abundant wiring has done for me. I'm not going to say it's still a process, but it's getting easier day by day. It's getting easier. (laughs) You said, you said that, you said that the, the words peace, like there's no price you can put on peace. Like everyone's looking for peace, right? Everyone's looking for peace. Um, Everyone's got inner turmoil that they're trying to get rid of. And they may be like, maybe they got, they go, they spend money on nice clothes, but it doesn't fill them. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have addictions or maybe they have, uh, they, they, they have outlets. But just like you mentioned, finding my inner world. Oh my gosh, that is so profound. Yes. That is such a profound just, concept. 
Oh. Yeah, it's just like once you like once you get there, there's no coming back. There's no coming back. Your life has changed. And that's what that's and that's what so this brings to the point of knowing Allah. Because Allah loves you so much, He wanted you to have peace with yourself. And that's the utmost way of showing love for someone. Because at the end of the day, we want to come home. We want to come back to a peaceful home, right? And mm-hmm. what a better what better way than coming than like having peace in inside of you you know right because you're your first home like you're living in this yeah. body our soul exactly. is living in a home that is our yes. body and we have all these thoughts every single day coming in our minds i'm not good enough i'm not worthy enough i'm not lovable yep. our environment is like we're perceiving the environment through those beliefs that everything just feels dangerous everything feels terrible everything feels like maybe boring and, and yep. because you're bringing it through that lens of i'm not at peace Yep. And like and I always say this, your environment is simply a reflection of you. So when you are not at peace, when you're not happy, when you don't feel loved or you don't love yourself, that's gonna reflect in your environment. Oh, that is so mm. profound. Your inner world, girl. That's found <laughs> a new concept. You just helped me find a new concept, like finding your inner world. Like I want really? everyone to find your inner world. Yes. Like you just you just put you put it perfectly together. Like we have an inner world. Like all of us, yes. like me and you, we have different thoughts, we have different memories, we have different uh, language patterns, we have different exactly. ways of perceiving the world. Like we all that is amazing. Wow. <laughs> I've learned something today, guys, by the way. Just learned something from Anika. Inner world <laughs> world. <laughs> Mashallah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm doing that. So um, yeah, what was it like healing with other women? Because I know so many of us like we get scared to share oh, it was the best okay. I loved it because it's just so inspirational like you're not the only one you know and you also not only can you give support but you also learn so much because your question could be someone else's experience you know right like it, it could be someone else's experience like you maybe not you might not be able to put it into words or you don't know how you're feeling but when someone else articulates it you're like oh my god that's exactly how I'm feeling that's but one I of can- it you know that's one of it and another thing is I just feel like I'm part of something big like we if she can do it I can do it you know like she gives me inspiration it's just it's just amazing like the power of and that's how it should be God didn't send you here alone he sent you into into uh, how do how how do I say this like he made like families and then families make up society that's how it should be. It wasn't supposed to be individualistic. You know? Right. It's like we're moving towards this individualistic culture and it's killing yeah. us. Mm-hmm. It, we're literally dying out. It's so it's so shocking and so frightening that we've become such an individual, individualist and um, selfish kind of society. Like, I'm exactly. not going to do it so hard. I'm not going to, I'm not going to heal. And I'm, I'm just going to like, I'm going to make everyone tiptoe around me because I don't yeah. feel great everyone has to walk on eggshells and this is how the world has is turning and just like it's so true like it's us women we, us women are the glue to society we're the we're mm-hmm. the connect we create the village and uh, we create yep. the village and like the village is being exactly. lost, lost social media so much technology and it's like we're losing ourselves just like you said in a world when you find your inner world then mm-hmm. you're able to connect to the outer world exactly oh, exactly wow um okay so my final question is what would mm-hmm. you say to a woman let's say oh no I forgot to ask you I forgot to ask you your breakthroughs girl how did I forget that what were your breakthroughs um in sacred feminine pleasure there were a few well one of them was what I told you before we started that was probably the best one the second one was the thing I have noticed like okay so I've had a few people leave me, right? Um, like last year, my best friend left me out of the blue. And it was like a seven-year friendship. I felt like like this was a guaranteed relationship. Nothing can ever go wrong, right? Mm-hmm. And then the people I talked about, like the two guys I had feelings for, they left. So what I've been doing all this time is like literally every day, I would stalk their profiles, right? Like, oh, I'm bored. I'm, I'll just stalk their profiles, even though they are blocked. I will unblock them just to see it, right? But then ever since I started this abundance wiring, literally from week one, it just vanished. Just vanished. I 
don't even feel the need to like every time they come up in my mind I'm like okay I I, I let the thought like go on its own and then I tell myself I hope they're okay Allah forgive them and then I make peace with it and it just goes away I do not feel the need to go to their profile and I still haven't oh my you know? god I and that, that and that literally proves that how fulfilling your inner life is now that you don't like you don't feel the need to go and see how these people are doing anymore because you're just so satisfied with yourself you know mic drop moment satisfaction life yes. satisfaction saves you so much time do you mind can you imagine like how many there's women i used to do that back in the day that like when i was younger like stalking and how much time yeah. away how much it creates inner turmoil and then you mm-hmm. start not judging yourself from a place of like i must not be good enough and then yeah. it takes you down the spiral of more chaos and this is yeah. what happens you know? like when your body is in survival mode you look for chaos you look for the yeah. danger you look for it and it excites you it makes you feel something so yeah. the fact that you're just so satisfied so, oh my gosh satisfaction and peace it's like it's an unmatched <laughs> currency it's that it's a currency that can't be matched like no amount of money can match no. that currency like no. anika how much, how much time and feelings are you saving and like now you're saving your feelings for the right guy the guy exactly. who deserves the best of you like he exactly. deserves and he deserves your trust he deserves your he deserves your vulnerability because he's going to earn mm-hmm. it he's going to be in that space of like this woman Anika is so amazing she's so happy with life how can I add to her happiness instead of take yep. away from it wow exactly that is so amazing um okay final question what would you say to someone who is on the fence maybe they came mm-hmm. across my profile they're looking for a sign they're looking for some kind of like um healing what would you say mm-hmm. to them who and think about signing up for sacred feminine pleasure. What would you say to that woman to sign up? I would say that the fact that they're here and that they're thinking of it is, is the sign. It's the sign that Allah has guided you here to take action. You know, like, because that's what happened to me and I took action. I did not just sit with it and look at me now. You know, you're you have, exactly like. I can't put it in any better word. The first week we focus on money. Second week is love. The third week is success. The fourth week is confidence and being authentic. The fifth week is feminine energy and sexual energy. The uh, sixth week is intuition. Seventh week is God, religious trauma. And in the final week, we focus on health blocks. So all, in eight weeks, we heal. We, feel, exactly. we heal your wounds on eight areas of life, which is like people Everything. take years. Yeah, people take years yeah. to, and we collect. And okay, how how was it like? Do you, did you feel like it was too much, or did you feel like you're not getting the the work done? Like, how did it feel, Anika, to go through that that process? Because it's very deep. We go very deep in each process. How did that I feel? Loved it. I loved it. I I looked forward to each week. That was pretty much the highlight. Like those abundance wearing and then question answer. I was like the whole day. I'd be like, oh my god, tonight's the night. You know, I used <laughs> to look forward to it. I love it. That's like the ultimate self care when you're looking forward to like what you invest in. Oh my god, that's amazing! Exactly. That's so powerful. Oh, love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anika. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. That's all good. I hope it all, it comes to use for whoever it's wanting to join, and even people who have joined and gone through it. It's always good to come back and listen to this and be like, "Oh my god," you know. Yes. Like it, it, it's so helpful. Yes, and this is why I get you guys to do testimonials because, like, it's for your healing. Like, if you ever want to go back, you can watch this recording and you'll be like, Oh my God, I went through so much. I was that girl, mm-hmm. and now I'm here. And, like, even when you up level even more in your life, you will still look back at this recording and be like, Wow, like, I actually healed a lot of areas in my life. So, yeah, yeah. And once you heal it, you didn't even realize that, Oh, I didn't even know I was having a block here. And then once you healed it and then blessings start coming that way and you're like, oh my God, all this time, I didn't even know I was unconsciously blocking this, you know, or carrying this trauma. I was like, if you could see my facial expressions right now, I'm like, I'm just like, yes, exactly. Like, you know what it is? A lot of people, a lot of women say, I'm fine. But no, you're not fine. Like, you don't, you don't cry. Like, you don't cry. You do not cry when you're going through something. You're not fine. Exactly. You just store it in your body right you're just yep. storing trauma and it's like your first language was to cry so how come you can't do it right now like how come you can't cry right 
So mm-hmm. yeah, that's so powerful. Oh yeah, that's so powerful. Oh my god, Anika, you're just helping me like you're helping me figure out new things in my own marketing. Like, thank you so much, Anika. <laughs> this is true, guys. Okay. Uh, I I'm not a coach all the time. Like I learn. Like you, Anika. By the way, I just wanna I want to mention this to you as well that having you in the program, like Marshall, the stuff that you asked, the questions that you yeah. asked was so they were so deep and it was so needed. So thank you so much for being vulnerable because the reason why thank you got you. these results isn't just because of the coaching, it's because of you. You are open to being coached and you were open to being vulnerable. And like, I just want you to remember that, that you, alhamdulillah, you had the answers within all this time and you you mm-hmm. asked the right questions and you got the results. So like yeah. props to you, girl, props to you. And you helped me too. <laughs> you helped me develop my team. So like, I, thank I, you. Can so I just much. say, can I just say the only reason I was, I was able to be vulnerable it's because of you because you gave us that space and opportunity your personality is just so positively infectious like I kid you not whenever I'm facing facing like issues the first thing I think about is how would you oh. respond to this I kid you not <laughs> not that I couldn't really cry <laughs> oh my gosh oh alhamdulillah like oh girl like, i'm speechless right now like normally i have something to say but i don't i'm just speechless <laughs> you're here girl welcome home like also i'm gonna say to you welcome home anika it's Finally amazing <laughs> oh alhamdulillah oh, oh this was amazing this was so hearty this was such a hearty co- uh, conversation thank you yes. so much for like bringing that to the table bringing it to this recording and i do pray that everyone watches this recording and sees that this is real life this is this is it this is what you mm-hmm. need you need this okay not because not, not yeah. you need it without it. you're gonna be something you're gonna die no you just need it because you want to you want to figure out the your inner world it's yeah. like anika you want to find your <laughs> inner world come to sacred feminine pleasure i will help you find your inner world inshallah yes inshallah all right thank you anika so much oh, okay jazakallah khairan bye, yeah. love you bye i love you too <laughs> bye <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>